weeks of intense competition in the land of the world champions, days of waiting for the biggest game of their lives, and it all comes down to the next 80 minutes. Sporting drama doesn't come much bigger than what we're about to see here at the Olympic Stadium in Sydney, Australia, against the British and Irish Lions, part three, the decider. Australia right back in the series, and they pick this team. There are two changes from Melbourne, a trap nerve which has rendered Stephen Larkham's arm all but motionless this week means that Elton Flatley makes his first start of the series at fly half, his first start in Australia. An injury to David Giffen means that 27-year-old Justin Harrison, the Australian player of the tour outside the test arena, wins his first cap. For ACT and Australia A, he was very impressive and feisty with it. For the Lions, it has been a week devoted to getting the mind right, but in many cases also the body. Austin Healy, previously suffering with a severely bruised leg, picked up a back injury as well. He's out. Daffy James returns. We'll talk more about the bench in a minute. Elsewhere in the backs, Wilkinson, O'Driscoll, Henderson have all managed to shake off their ailments. How Wilkinson is walking, let alone playing, is a tribute to him and the medical team. Of course, Howley and Hill were never going to make it. Matt Dawson and Martin Corrie both start. Dawson for the first time in the series. On the bench then, one name stands out, Scotland's Andy Nicholl, tour guide one day, Lions replacement the next, a staggering tale of shock promotion with Healy out, Matt Dawson had no backup to his scrum half role, Nicholl a Lion for one minute in 93 when he came on as a replacement. Amazing atmosphere, quite incredible. And taken by Wood. Drucock got some important hands on that. Wilkinson out to Perry. What are the Lions doing here? Robinson. It was bold to the point of reckless. Australia came round offside though. Clearly at that ruck. Well, that was very lucky for the Lions. Martin Johnson, before the game, said we've got to play a bit more territory. The initial pass from Wilkinson onto Perry's left foot was one thing, but then Perry's kick or pass was awful. They really must play the game further down the park than they did there. There you can see George Smith goes over. Dawson and Wilkinson resuming their English partnership. Ireland's hooker Keith Wood waits to throw in. Now he's got the line out option this week of Martin Corrie back at the tail. He was looking for Grupok though, and that's stolen with Harrison getting in there, and that's what he does so well. What a start for Harrison to international rugby. And Finnegan takes it on, and the penalty to Australia. Paddy O'Brien, our referee, all New Zealand officials tonight. Two-handed take, Martin. Two-handed take. And John Eels points at the post. And that, of course, means Matt Burke. 25 points last weekend. A record for Australia against the Lions. And look how Harrison there disrupted the Lions line-out and made a big point, as he has done right the way through the tour. Uh, psychologically, that's very, very good news for the Wallabies. Tactically, an inept start from the Lions, and then that man, Harrison, still in the line-out. The ball was controlled by the Wallaby forwards, the Lions' backs were too hasty, a nervous start from the Lions, what should be a dream start for the host nation. kicks oh. and gets the three points to get Australia on their way. Well, that's a really poor 
start from the Lions. Here's the restart. Drucott should have got his hands on the ball, but lost it. Knock on. And a scrum which will be so important to both sides. Having lost out in this area in the first test, Australia certainly leveled it up in the second. Helton flatly down at the moment. We said the Lions would target him. He took the ball on and was hit hard. See the Lions? A very big pack. And an early blow to the Wallaby fly half, which will be a real worry for the world champions. And let's hope that Elton Flatley does get up. You don't want to see injuries at this stage. Well, as his name indicates, he likes to play the game flat. He likes to challenge. And there's the tackle from his but opposite number, Johnny Wilkinson. Not a tackle, though, is it? I mean, Johnny Wilkinson put the shoulder in there. Grucock, you see, he should have had that ball. Australia come on the counter. Flatley takes it. That's an elbow from Wilkinson. He's lucky to get away with that. That should have been a penalty, Australia. And Flatley is back on his feet, although still nursing the injury. Styles, Foley, Wall looked a, a lot better front row from an Australian point of view in the second test. And Smith, Wood, and Vickery against them. Elton Flatley. You can see where he's standing. He wants to get right up into the action. Gregan and Nathan Gray slices off the left boot, his favourite boot, and this gives the Lions a chance to build something from here. And they've still only given 55 minutes of total rugby on this tour in any one match. It's been a, a big frustration to them. Corrin, good throw from Ward. Now it's Dawson, Wilkinson. Henderson, Gray was ready and waiting, so was Flatley, but Henderson did really well to get back on and across that game line, well across it. Lions put in. Now, two things we saw there. A, the excellence of Martin Corrie at the tail, but that line-out came from a very good scrum from the Lions. Vickery had problems with Styles last week, but that was a more solid scrum, and Australia were put under pressure. Now, Jason Robinson, the left wing, standing behind the scrum. What are they trying here? Only James this way, and Quinnell comes this way. Now they're flooding this side. Robinson's come across. Present it back to Dawson. Then Corey. Neil back right in there, supporting Corey. Good territory here for the Lions. Can they get some points? Henderson, little chip in behind. Referee has seen a trip, I think. Henderson taken out after he made that kick through. And this will be simple for Wilkinson. It could have been more, though. I think the Lions have settled for three. It's quite a smart kick. You can see Michael Foley just turns his back. Paddy O'Brien sees it. Number two. There it is, yeah, that's a cynical foul. Turns his back and leaves his leg. And that's a trip. And this should be three points for Wilkinson. And there's no doubt that the loss of Wilkinson this weekend would have been catastrophic. Yeah, so important to the Lions. Now his goal kick, and I can't remember being as bad at test match level ever, so he needs a major one tonight. The Lions must take every three points going and he's got that as a settling kick as we said could not have been easier just what you want to make sure that the nerves are not there the rhythm is there and the scoreboard is now level you know i watched him at the manly oval practice yesterday and he was striking it sweetly but coming into this test he's got a strike rate i think of somewhere around 54% and that's not good enough in the land of the world champions Somewhere around Bang on. Dawson taking the quick tap and Daffy James Dawson again he loves pace on the game and at the moment 
the Lions imposing that level of pace until the Last error step. and the knock-on no and Australian ball pulsating start yeah that was good from Matt Dawson but the Lions are gonna have to retain ball losing ball in the contact there if you're gonna put pace on the game you've got to keep it long enough to disorganize the Wallaby defense you can't go one or two phases and then lose the ball but you're right pulsating five all in tries before today in this series and Nathan Gray supported by his centre partner Danny Herbert and Finnegan all of them big men and there's the inside ball from Green to Kefu worked so well Smith had a target Kefu again good work good off there with the tackle well tracked back by Matt Dawson and over the top she goes It's Burke, and it's touch on the fall. But we saw there, the Lions have come out of it rather well, but we saw there the threat of the back row, the likes of Kefu and Smith, and well, Finnegan too. Well, Kefu, he's a piano shifter's physique, but he's got a classical P in his hand. Beautiful play, and when Georgie Gregan's playing those men off him, well, they're so dangerous. But the net result's good for the Lions, and again they go Curry, and again it's stolen. And again, it was Harrison called, was it causing all kinds of problems at that line out. They'll move Harrison around. Here's Perry. There was a blanket of tacklers there. Dawson, Wilkinson, no option. Only O'Driscoll outside. Had to kick. Burke fires it away to Henderson. He's been working hard on his kicking. Andrew Walker. Got a blow in the face. You may remember the second test, but never a doubt. Robinson to Cornell. The instruction there from Paddy O'Brien is the players arriving at the tackle must stay on their feet as soon as they go to ground O'Brien will blow his whistle and that exchange of kicking worked well for Australia yeah you'd have liked to see Jason Robinson run that ball back clearly Australia want him to cut run back on kicks and use that blanket defense but that was a long kick and there was a bit of space the passing field to Quinnell almost looked forward as it was but Australia once they had the big man in the sights they picked him off that's manna from heaven from Robinson, and he's got to have the courage at some stage to say, OK, I am going to take you on. Maybe not at the moment, but if they keep kicking along, Robinson has got to, he's got to take on that challenge. Matt Burke kicking towards the yellow bin liners, which have been put over the seats behind that set of posts to encourage a splash of... Australian goal but both the top tiers at either end almost exclusively red but that is a superb kick a man who managed to blot out the atmosphere and concentrate on his task and get the one of his supporters to their feet Harrison bossing the restarts now Dawson didn't take it cleanly. But the forwards back quickly, as they had to be. Quinnell. Wilkinson. Not a good kick from Johnny Wilkinson. How about this start from Justin Harrison? Marvellous play. Now Burke playing the kicking game. This time he looks for touch. He doesn't get the bounce in. It's set up nicely for Perry. He doesn't want to hurt the touchline. He does. Matt Burke. In the end, it's a happy story for him. Paddy O'Brien comes across to have a word with Steve Walsh, one of his touch judges who's seen something. After goal, to taking the ball down from the kickoff. Yep. 
five red came in and the knee into the, um, into the back of the uh, white. Had to kick Sorry, off. the number one yellow card. I'm going to penalise him if you go to the mark. Yes, I will. Right. It, it, it just needs to be spoken between no cars. Knees a bit. And that's Danny Grucock who will be pulled out here. Number five. Knees in the back, number five. Number five, please. Well, here's the infringement. Oh, that's bad. At the kickoff, using your knees Into Styles. In front of the Don't do that it. is it's not good at time. all. Just watch red number five coming in on one. Penalty. That's a terrible foul. And the arm goes in as well, which doesn't help the situation, but the knee is bad enough. That's a poor challenge from Danny Grucock. It deserved more, perhaps, than the penalty award although Steve Walsh had a good view of it and was happy to leave it at that but it was a cheap shot well I'd have said one more of those and you're off mate it's not for the yellow card but that was bad that wasn't a poor challenge that was with real intent little bit of edge and a good field position for the Wallabies hold red hold and finally goes for the quick snap towards the front. Knocked on. And the line out in 15. One from the training and ground, which doesn't come off. So it's the scrum 15 metres in. Okay, it was well forward. watched by Matt Dawson, in no, fact, no. who stood his ground on the five metre mark. And now Dawson will put in. And Corey keeps Gregan out the way. The call from Keith Wood there to get the ball out. And Scott Quinnell. As soon as he heard that, didn't hang around, but then failing to release in the tackle. And Harrison and Johnson square up. And Johnson's taking no nonsense from the new cap. Taken away. John, have a yarn to number four. I don't want to see him again in that situation. I don't talk. Have a yarn to your number four. 15. Well, we said expect rugby on the edge. Here's Quinnell going to ground. George Smith brilliantly on his feet. And then the Lions, well, they just find their man isolated. Smith does it so well. Okay. And it gives Burke another shot at goal. Super play from the number seven, but it was a pretty tidy scrum from the Wallabies as well, as well yeah. that put the Lions under pressure. There are some worrying aspects to all of this at the scrum. Harrison's work at the line out. And the Lions can't win the match without the ball. Everybody said this week it would be won and lost, as all big games are, up front. Matt Burke to make it 9-3. It's an accomplished kicking display so far from the most capped Australian fullback of all time, Matt Burke. He's striking that ball sweetly, isn't he, Matt Burke? Now the Lions go longer this time. Joe Roth underneath it. Comfortable for Roth. Gregan dropped by Walker. So now, can the Lions forwards produce an attacking scrum here to create a platform for a strike back the time is right well the small things cost you test matches and that's well it's a more than a small error from andrew walker should have taken that good position for the lions dawson feeds to wilkinson and bringing in perry up to jason robinson there were two that time neil back gets in it's scott quinnell is this their moment dawson just delayed on picking the ball up. It wasn't a clean pickup. Johnson yeah. tries to get in, but Dawson got it on the floor. Come up, come up. And the Lions to put in to Gregan's amazement. Uh, the Lions trying to get the ball to Jason Robinson. They're attacking danger man. Dawson and Vickery not quite in tandem. Got away with that, but this now is a major situation for the Lions. You can see Finnegan on the wrong side, stopping the ball coming out. Some fancy footwork there. And you do feel if the Lions are going to beat the world champions here at Stadium Australia, 
from these situations they are going to have to score tries these are the positions they must finish off I just think if Phil Vickery really does need to do something to sort out Nick Stiles at the moment he's getting low and he's getting him on an angle they must be solid to enable Dawson and Wilkinson to call the shots and of course Quinnell at the tail first the forwards must ignite the furnace and Paddy O'Brien unhappy Big drive. Australia can't afford to collapse this one. It's fine to stay in. Now, of course, Wilkinson could kick from here, but that's never going to be on Johnson's mind after that first scrum of this attack. A better hold from Australia than the collapse who brought it down. It's, it's a good set, but I just hold it there. Uh, certainly Nick Style trying to get low at Vickery on the near side. The heads must be right. Sorry, Stuart. Robinson's on his own on the far side, of course. One-on-one -on -one possibility here should Dawson try and switch it. But first, let's see what the eight can do. Dawson, Wilkinson, Henderson. Quinnell tried to get there quickly. Stay back, stay back, stay back. Dawson's got it again. Wilkinson, out it goes to Ward. On to Tom Smith, Jason Robinson. He's done it again. Billy Wiz. Make that serve, Billy Wiz. Fabulous change of direction from the Lions. But didn't Wood and Smith do well? Keith Wood, George Walker, Tom Smith gives the pass and Robinson can't be stopped from there. But it's the decision earlier to change the point of the attack that made the difference. A well played Tom Smith. Georgie Gregan, the best cover tackling nine in the world. No chance there. But that's the moment. The big cutout ball from Wilkinson. Well drawn by Wood. Good pass from Smith. Easy for Robinson. Always there. Always on the end of it. Born try scorer. But a team score. Oh, and such an important score. You know, we said a minute ago from five metres out, scrummage positions there. They've got to come away with at least three, preferably more. They've got five. Now, Wilkinson today, I think if the Lions are going to win, must start nailing these kicks as he always does in the white shirt of England. It's a difficult ball, but this guy has great temperament and application. He can do it. This to give the Lions the lead. Setting off in the right direction. Wonderful kick. A lead that until the last three or four minutes, the Lions didn't deserve. But that was a power play from them. It's 10-9. And that is the Johnny Wilkinson, the Northern Hemisphere knows. And certainly the Englishmen love, and I think today, the Irish, Welsh and Scotsman. Big seven points for the Lions. take from Drewcock made himself big there and Wilkinson kicks but that is inviting a counter-attack got to get those right Kefu with Henderson and O'Driscoll the Irish centers there and O'Driscoll dragged out but Dawson has got it and Robinson has it now over the Australian 10 meter line nobody at scrum half and it was Martin Johnson who went in there to act as scrum half, got there very quickly. Henderson chipping. 
Number nine. But Gregan was offside. Big turnover there. Totai Kefu on the charge. He ran away from his support. And there you can see turnovers conceded. Uh, that's in the second test. The Aussies conceded 19. And that's one they didn't want to concede. Lions only made six in that second test. An important one. And you know, last week, from this sort of position early on, Johnny Wilkinson was kicking to the corner and they were going for the line out. And I feel this is the right thing. Go for goal. And his confidence will be buoyed by that marvellous touchline kick. First one to swing low. This time it's Breda Heaven. So much resting on these kicks. That one missing. He'll be disappointed with that. Sorry, Miles. He'll be disappointed with that. It's still been a good spell for the Lions. It could have been better had that gone over. But there are reasons to be cheerful. Scott Quinnell is one of them. Uncontrollable power. But then conceding the penalty. Well, Quinnell feels that he wasn't tackled. And that's why he was able to pick up and go again. Charges into Smith. Now Smith just about does have his hands on Quinnell. A needless sort of penalty to concede. Marginal decision, but... Those sometimes go for you, sometimes go against you. And you can see why it was given. But it came at the wrong moment for the Lions. They were building nicely there. Foley, a hooker who likes it tough. Harrison's palm, but not convincing. And Tom Smith, totally convincing on the floor. A marvellous burrow from the Scots prop to turn that ball over. Wilkinson fires out to O'Driscoll. Haven't seen him so far. Jiving and trying to get away. It's Roth. And that's Dawson. Quinnell fancies the combat again. This time he releases quickly. Drewcock, too. Wants a charge straight into the midriff of George Smith. Dawson, good pass. O'Driscoll's kick. And Roth. Burke. Very composed, polished performer, Matt Burke, but in front of him, the Lions are just starting to drive. We've seen Quinnell hitting targets, Grucock really going at George Smith. They'd love to commit George Smith to the tackle earlier, take him out of the game, render him less effective. Wood was going for the tail, that was the call, but it fell in the gap, and it's Kefu. Offside against Quinnell. Again, the major problem, the line-out. Keith Wood in the first turn had a real rhythm to his throwing, but once Eels... And, ha and uh, Harrison, this test, of course, Giffin, the last one, started jumping, putting pressure in the middle of the line-out. That rhythm's disappeared a little bit. It's good work from Australia at the set-piece. Safe touch from Walker. 
Johnson gets ready. Already assured of his place in history. With that, a poor one from Australia, and Keith Wood turns it to an extra back row man there. But no advantage. It's a fascinating line-out battle. Both sides struggling on their own ball, but Australia, good position now. And this is where Australia can start to move, but that rehearse move fails. Joe Roth, such a dangerous ball carrier. Danny Herbert not reading the signals that time. Uh, they brought Roth the left wing in almost as a fullback, but he and Herbert were not at one there at all. And you can see Lyons not making many handling errors. But again, a, a decent scrum from the Wallabies and Quinnell having to work hard to make metres. But Quinnell versus Gregan, only one winner there. Right boot from Wilkinson, and that's a good kick. Lions haven't kicked well tactically so far, but that's good territory. Only 60% fit, we were told on Wednesday. Rest assured, we will not take a risk, but he will be 100% fit come Saturday. It's a wonder that he's out there. So both hookers have had their bad moments recently. That's much, much better. And it's the kind of ball that backs feet off. Herbert is crunched. Flatly to Burke. And then Roth looking around for Walker. Dragged down by Robinson. That was such an important tackle. Burke comes back in the move. Harrison tackled by Johnson. And it's Lions ball turnover time. It led to Australia going offside. And we saw there Jason Robinson in that move as the defender. He's not a big man, but he puts the big men down. Now we also saw the forwards working very hard there. Talked about George Smith as a slower down a ball and a, a thief. But I think Neil Back and his forwards will be pleased with their work there. Robinson made the tackle. But that's a super turnover and at the moment we've got two subplots we've got the line out going australia's way but look at that back on the floor there stealing that ball on his feet the lions are just edging that turnover phase and this time the lions do win a line out i swear neil back has been clocking his mileage over the years and there he is again back in the action spinning out the pass to johnny wilkinson who loves to spin out of the tackle didn't get a chance that time Vickery keeps the move going with that good take at close quarters. O'Driscoll away from Styles. See what O'Driscoll's trying to do. He's trying to pick off forwards and run at them, but the Aussie defence is good. And the kicking from the Lions, far from good at times. They're conceding possession, conceding position as well. And Perry now fires straight down the throat of Walker who goes over the top, and that's a good catch from Wilkinson, and they try and lift him, they try and turn him. And they do. It's a pretty big call. Rough stuff there, that was a clever kick from Walker. Johnny Wilkinson will feel the Lions took just a fraction too long to get there. Excellent chasing from Australia. And they do continue to dominate the tactical kicking game. Look at that, Walker and Gray in there. Very fast, Herbert as well. Powerful backs, wrap the man up. And time for both sets of players to take a breather. And what has been a relentless first half. Here in Stadium Australia, the home of the Olympic Games. Uh, an inspiring place. There's that man, Keith Wood, in the middle. An inspiration, a leader of this team. 
but the Lions need him to get his throw in right and the line out men Johnson, Drewcock and Corey to start settling this game. Australia in good position. And if Australia were looking for inspiration, and I'm sure right at the forefront of their minds, they have never beaten the Lions in a series before. So we're looking at penalty with no number. Is that yeah, what? Penalty with no number. Oh. It's the header number. Oh. Martin. This could be trouble. Go away, please. Number. Go away, please. Mate, this test on the knife here, just you well know. Okay. A boot went on ahead the there, no number identified, but can cost games. It's a penalty. Talk to the boys, no number. Go away, please. Go away, please. Go away. Well, Paddy O'Brien takes no. Nonsense. Former member of the New Zealand Police Force. Now Martin Johnson's point there, of course, was that he feels, and the Lions pack feels, that Australia are collapsing the scrum and they think Styles is the guilty party. They think he doesn't want a scrummage square. But if a boot makes contact with the head, that's no defence, it's a penalty. It is a worry for the Lions. And they've given away, what, three penalties in their own half. And the way this guy's kicking, this is going to be three out of three to hurt them. Nine points. Well, famous last words, but he hasn't looked like missing so far. And I always think when you see it from that angle, it looks as if the posts are close again. But, well, they did in the end. Hits. Woodwork, Matt Burke. So maybe Burke now just feeling a little bit of the building tension, knowing that every kick will either cost dear or add greatly in this situation. And that was a let off for the Lion. You expected Burke to get that. A good ball from Finnegan, but then a terrible delivery to George Gregan. Good support from Roth. He was hanging around 10 metres away from Gregan, giving him options while all around him weren't. But that's a Lions penalty now. Long way out. But we've seen Wilkinson slot them from here, but not on this tour. Hasn't been going from that kind of distance. Of course, that he's using a different ball. Just look at Martin Johnson there. He's like George Smith over the top like a flanker. And so Roth has to hold on to the ball because the Lions skipper was the first man there. Great play from Johnson. And again, in the Australian 22, these moments matter. Lord to Johnson. The secure take. And Quinnell. Dawson, Wilkinson, going for the cross-field kick, but it's well fielded by Burke. But it's also back for the penalty after that maul had been pulled down. With John Ailes and Ron McQueen yesterday, and they were saying that if they had to pick out one aspect of the Lions play that they were concerned about, it would be the rolling maul. And that's why Keith Wood's throwing is so important, because you can see here, Kefu pulls it down and then he gets the doormat treatment from Wood. But if Keith Wood does find his man and the Lions can get territory, they can hurt Australia from there. They really can. And three points? Well, it wouldn't be a hammer blow. But it'd let them know that Wilkinson's knife is out and sharpened. If he misses this, it might play on the mind because already one has slipped by. Not his normal deadly self, Johnny Wilkinson, on this tour. 
That is now six points that have gone away. Three for Australia as well, but Wilkinson, you know, generally rated now the leading goal kicker in international rugby. And that's an edge for the Lions, and he's not making it an edge at the moment. The ball clearly went backwards there from Quinnell's drop. Kefu. Gregan to Flatley. Now Henderson's dropped one. And we also got news there from the bench that during the break whilst Wilkinson was aiming at the post, Matt Dawson was putting ice on the back of his knee and that management team know that they can't afford to lose Dawson and throw Andy Nichol in so soon. Here go Australia. Half-time approaching and flatly to Walker. This position very much of the Lions' own making. With the knock-on. So here we go, Australia have a chance to cancel out their miss. Yeah, it was poor play from Rob Henderson that gave Australia such a good situation. And the Lions just over hasty in defence. They've got to keep their discipline. They're tackling much more powerful in the first half than it was in the second half of Melbourne. And there's a Driscoll just flicking that hand back and then Johnson comes through, but the penalty already given. And this would be a soft three point for Australia. Just that one miss for Burke to this point. Again, he wouldn't normally expect to miss from here. And he does. Well, pressure is an overused word, but there's no doubt that Matt Burke must be feeling it to miss that sort of kick helps the Lions mindset flatly Kefu Hands up. Regan to flatly little show from Gray but his intention was clear Gregan again and when Gregan got moving and playing those passes inside to fit Finnegan last weekend that's when Australia really got moving and a monumental second half, the scrum half in the second test, and he's fizzing there. Out to Andrew Walker, to Joe Rolfe, to Daniel Herbert. It's a beautiful work score. And when they retain the ball, you can see their greatness. It's those foundations laid by Gregan, Finnegan and Cafu again. The Lions didn't make what Neil Back described as go forward tackles in the second test, and they didn't stop the big men on the gain line. And wasn't the handling good from there on? Herbert, first of all, it's a lovely ball from Walker. Rough, easy as you like, and Herbert is under. But that's all about Gregan and his giant lieutenants. The damage is done by this stage because the Lions defence sucked in, but it's superbly finished by the Australian three quarters. They missed three, but they should have seven. Through the ticker tape, Burke makes no mistake. And a very different look to the scoreboard now, courtesy of Daniel Herbert's try. And unless the Lions can do something dramatic here, they will go in trailing by six points at the interval. Bad blow for the Lions, great news for Australia, and Burt, he's not going to take any risk. He drills it into Lions territory. 
fine try as it was. You can't help thinking that the Lions cut their own throat there. Yeah, they did. They gave Australia territory. And again, Gregan and those two back row carriers, Kefu and Finnegan, they make things happen. They just open a meter on the short side and then, bang, world-class finishing. Brucock retrieving from Corrie's palm. Quinnell. Someone's got to go with him. It's Corrie. Dawson to Henderson, who makes his first break. And Jason Robinson wasn't given the ball. He would have been tackled. Good decision from Henderson. This is Johnson. Back toward. Back again to Dawson. Wilkinson comes this way with O'Driscoll. No, it doesn't. Dawson's long pass to Corey. Johnson tries to barge his way through. Back. Henderson is tackled. All the time, the Lions trying to suck in the cover. Referee playing an advantage. Maybe seeing a penalty there. Johnny Wilkinson has a dart. Then it's Neil back. Now it's Scott Quinnell. Dawson. Wilkinson, miss move in the centre, O'Driscoll, Daffy James. Great tackling from Australia. Marvellous defence there. This will be the final play. Keith Wood, what a way to go down the tunnel if the Lions can get something here. Dawson, stopped right on the gain line. Keith Wood has got it. They're going to try and blast it. But now Dawson decides to release the backs and give it to Wilkinson and Robinson. There's certainly numbers waiting on the left. Great retention here. Dawson. Henderson. Stopped by three. It needed three. Another advantage. Australians coming offside all the time. Dawson again, Wilkinson, Tom Smith. Well, he dropped the ball. Number eight. And the Lions will get a penalty. On the five. Number eight. Thrilling Number fight five. back from the Lions. Cafu penalised now. The Lions do have the option of the scrum. I think Wilkinson will want to take three points, though. Go in within three at half time. And he really must get that. That was. Good stuff from the Lions, the retention better in that two-minute spell than it's been in this game. Forcing Australia to give penalties away. And Keith Wood battering at doors. You saw the forwards driving hard through the middle and making a metre or two. That's the way they've got to play this game. Drive hard and then the space will come. Absolutely vital kick in this deciding test. A lot has been said this week about the use of the top three inches. Well, here Wilkinson has to connect the top three with the bottom three. All you can say is good luck. second half we have to look forward to here in Sydney Colin Chavis is on Scott Quinnell is off that is the change that the Lions have made at half time he didn't make it Graham Henry did and you can see the gold leaf raining down on the Olympic Stadium <laughs> the Lions they want to turn it to a sea of red 40 minutes to go get ready Roth, so often used in that role, does it superbly. Walker had his kick charged down, and it's Daffy James. Thought he was out of the squad, then Austin Healy failed to recover, and he's thrown back in. All three tests now for James. Wilkinson, 
Perry didn't want to delay too long on that kick because the Wallabies were flying through at him. And good pressure from Robinson on Burke. Great chase, that. Well, that's a much better kick from Matt Perry. The Lions have been far too far in field with their first half kicking. But that was excellent. He gave Burke no error. And as you say, Miles, that man, Jason Robinson, put the heat on with a chase. Good position. And the news on Scott Quinnell, hamstring problem, which have been lingering all week, to be honest. Did well to get 40 minutes out of it. Corey, fine take of the line out. Now remember that shoddy start to the second half last weekend. Well, not so now from the Lions. Can they reproduce first test form? Oh, Driscoll. Jarvis gets a touch. Dawson to Corey. Dawson again. Henderson charging onto that. Well taken by Grucott. Little sidestep too. Now it's Jason Robinson. Dawson, Wilkinson, Keith Ward. Oh, what a charge from Ward. Dawson again, Wilkinson, it's a short ball. Henderson fancied it, thought he could get through. Stay back, leave it. Dawson once more, all about picking the right option and picking the right man. That man is Johnny Wilkinson. He inscribed his name into Lions history with that try. Johnny Wilkinson, what a story. His floated pass in Melbourne unleashed Joe Roth and it turned the game at the start of the second half. And this time, the check, the go, Daniel Herbert can't stop him. He's worked so hard on his mobility and his lightness of foot. Johnny Wilkinson's big moment. He left Kafu for dead now. To make this a seven pointer. What a start to the half for the Lions. I know in many ways the first two tests don't count for anything going into this match, but compare that to the start to the second half in Brisbane to what we experienced in Melbourne last weekend could make such a difference, but such a long way to go. Wilkinson composes himself after his try to add the conversion. There's no doubt, you know, he's kicking better to swing low, but Wilkinson is playing for all of Britain and Ireland tonight. That's much better, but is he gonna be feeling good? And so important, after Australia had gone 16-10 up, the Lions have turned it round with 10 points. Now, do they have a little psychological edge? Chavis, nothing psychological about that run. That was brutish and physical. Burke. Perry having called for the mark. It's a long way from touch, though. There's also no easy kick because Roth, Burke and Walker had an immediate net there. Really well positioned quickly. I just wonder whether perhaps a bomb. Well, he got his touch, but he was never going to get much distance. Wanted more than that, though. You felt perhaps he could have put some snow on that ball. Lions just got to score, give the forwards a target to chase. Now Lenehan and Henry with Dave Allred, they'll be feeling a lot better. This test series though, it's only just started. Gregan. That's Finnegan. Gregan again, flatly. Herbert and Walker there. Did terrifically well to keep their eyes on the ball when the tackles were raining in. Booted from Chavis, trying to kick it out of the hands of Gregan. Finnegan. Powerful player when it's moving forward. So is Herbert. 
And it was Herbert on the crash ball. Corey needed to get away from that. He wasn't on his feet. Flatly. Bounced off Henderson. Gregan caught by O'Driscoll. Henderson going over the top. Mustn't play it. Didn't. Flatly. Harrison. Now it's Gray. Perry. That's a good kick from Perry. He saw the space. Needs a chase. The fullback is leading it. Andrew Walker. Stay gone. Fine response. Lines have gone quickly with Jarvis. Oh my goodness. Picked up by Foley. Gregan. Dawson gets back. Robinson got in and played it on the floor. It's a penalty. Go away. Go away. What was Colin Jarvis doing? Saw so all the wrong sort of red there. He's come onto this field, turbocharged. He's made one great break, shrugged off a wallaby, but then, I'm afraid, there was no cool head. And oh dear, that was a horrible moment. Physically very good, mentally not so good. Now Walker is going for the kill. They're looking for the line out. And a lot more than three. Big moment. Now the lineup has to be five meters out now, even though Walker's kick was closer to the corner marker. Foley. Finnegan. Lions need to get down, they need to get ready. Can the Australians beat the Lions at their own game here? Well, the answer at the moment is no, but there can be a breakaway. Johnson puts his body in the way. And the Lions get the put in as Australia couldn't secure possession. Well, well done, the captain and his teammates there. That was not just physical and brave, that was smart. That's quite a turnover for the Lions, that really is significant. Now, a solid scrum because you know the green and gold are going to put it in here. Stars will look to work, Vickery. Well, we've had some big scrums in this series. This one, arguably top of the pile, as the Lions just look to defend and keep them out and allow Dawson to find Henderson. It's a bit of breathing space, but not much. The heat is still on. Oh, I'd like to see Dawson take on that kick, you know. Put some height on that. Henderson is not a top-class kicker. He was really under pressure. I felt that was one for Dawson. One for Dawson to kick and the winger to chase, maybe. But anyway, here's Harrison. Gregan. Nathan Gray. Gregan again. Kefu. Scrambling on and nearly getting there. Gregan, oh, it must be. And there's Herb again. More ticker tape coming. More agony here for the Lions. The Wallabies are back in front. And the Lions didn't get out of the hole after that turnover. You've got to get more yardage on your kicks in Australia. They worked it very well. Move the point of attack well. Gregan flat to Nathan Gray. And Kefu off Gregan. He gets past the first tackle. And once you get past the first tackle, well, it's quids in. Foley with the pass. Herbert, number two. Great strike back from the Wallabies. Easy for Foley. The Lions were sucked in by the power of Kefu. And Gregan, he knew where the support was. He knew where the space was. And as the lads were saying in the studio at half time, there was an air of inevitability about the first half try from Australia. Also, with that one, you knew it was coming. And with Matt Burke, you are.
them know that that's coming too. Ron McQueen, his final game in charge. What a game to choose. And that's a great score for Australia. Just cancels out that lion's edge. Now what? Another great take from Harrison, but that looks like a knock-on. It was from Finnegan. Well, you say now what, Stuart? Who knows? With this series, who knows? Nothing has gone to plan. No, I just thought then that's a fraction too long. Justin Harrison claimed it, but between the point of claim and control, the knock-on. Wilkinson looking for width here. Oh, Driscoll! Oh, that is dangerously high. O'Driscoll oh, stooped a bit, yes, but it was still high. Go. Go. It's still Decker, which means you've got to kick them down, OK? Yeah, help he must kick them down. Yeah. It's a yellow card. No, he took them high. It's a yellow card. High. The officials <laughs> failed to agree with John Hills that it was accidental. Well, you're the man who said, now what? The two-try scorer in the sim bin. That's high, all right. But Driscoll, uh, Driscoll comes back on the angle. It is very high. He wasn't stooped that much. But I've got to say, bad as that looks, Australia will feel well. Danny Grucock's first half incident was worse than that. So they'll feel a bit hard done by. But it is a penalty. The Lions have an advantage. And in this series, you get an advantage. You take it. Wilkinson to level. You have to marvel at his corners. Twenty three all. Could someone pass the sedative? Oh, man. I think I've run out. On a day like this, we are emotionally challenged. Jarvis. Hands up! Stay there, stay there. Stay, no, stay. Dawson still firing off those passes straight to Wilkinson, just where he wants them. Burke couldn't get round Henderson. Flatly. Look who's there, Keith Ward, covering every blade. Now, was he taken out? The referee doesn't think so. He said play on straight away. He thought that Ward collided with Gray more than the other way around. He's also limping a bit. And Burke eventually puts it out. And what's the situation with Keith Ward? Well, it'll have to be extremely serious to get Keith Wood off again. He's playing like a man possessed. One of the Lions leaders had a big role to play in the dressing room after defeat in Melbourne. Very articulate man, a great leader. Also had a big role to play four years ago in South Africa. Of course, then he burnt himself out in the series. Failed to appear in the third test, but it didn't matter then, it was 2-0. I'll tell you what, Nathan Gray turned his back there and knew what he was doing. He yes, he did. Him. That's a penalty, and of course it would have been from where the ball landed. He could have kept moving there, he stopped. Better line out. Johnson takes it at two. Banker ball. The important thing is that Wood threw it and he's still on. 
Oh, Wilkinson. Came off Harrison and then Gregan. This might really hurt the lines. Behind Walker from Kefu. And squeals, angry squeals all around us from the Wallaby supporters. They thought that was a big chance. They were absolutely right. Oh, wasn't it just? It was a great heartbreak from Wilkinson, but the Wallabies turned it over, and Walker was burning down the right flank. To be honest, there are too many little things that this game could have turned on. It's now just all about being brave and digging deep. And Neil Bank is digging on the wrong side. He gets a bit of boot for his troubles and that could have turned the penalty over. Ron Moore. Well, this could be two men in the bin. Right there. It's okay, just hold him, hold him. Paddy O'Brien has already, already checked then. the number, now he will uh, confer. Number three, after the whistle. Absolutely, thank you. John! Lucky break for the Lions, you know, because they were turned over deep. He so I go penalty, he didn't, he's not rucking, you trampled him. Don't do it. He had a penalty right out in front, I'm changing it. Be very careful. Paddy O'Brien said that he has been preparing for this game ever since the appointment was announced back in May. He's been thinking about it, working towards it, training for it. I'm, I'm going to you. Determined not to make the big error. And that, after the whistle had gone. Needless, really, isn't it? Neil backs in an offside position. Australia have got the penalty. The referee's given the penalty for it, and then Moore's gone up and down on back. It won't worry Neil back at all. He'll say, kick me all day, on, and I'll go down your end and win the series. Keep it going. Line that has been a bit tighter this half, hasn't it? Johnson and Grucock. And the ball gets going, and there's very little resistance there from Australia because they simply didn't have the men in position. And the Lions go again. Now, if they bring this down, and Foley is trying to bring it down, it'll be a penalty. Dawson to Wilkinson. Long pass wasn't on. He didn't want the interception. It's coming back to Gregan, though. And Walker. But he's done a lot better than that before. Another marvellous turnover by Australia. Lions first half. The Wallaby forwards working hard on the back foot. But I just thought there are signs that Andrew Walker's looking a little bit nervous. Bad slice. There's George Smith getting through a lot of work in his battle with Neil Back. Great cameo. Johnson again to Grucock. Let's go once more. Three on the trot to Johnson. Bank a ball. Back leaves it. Lost a little bit of control there, the Lions pack. But no matter because the Moor was pulled down. Well, tactically, the Lions are getting this right now. They think they've got an edge in this area, so they're going to say, right, you might not like it in Australia, but we're going to throw to Johnson, we're going to catch, and we are going to drive, and you are going to let us go 15 metres, or you're going to pull us down. And now Wilkinson's job is to punish Australia. And his job is that much more doable, if you like, when it's just outside the 22 and not near the 10-metre line. Yeah, distance does seem a problem with this ball. Has hit that sweet spot, Johnny. You've been doing it for years. Even on Christmas Day, this man will practice his kicking, and it's for moments like this. So close, but it might as well have been a long way away. No points for Wilkinson, no points for the Lions. 
a quarter of the game left. And you do just feel that these kicks that for Wilkinson have been a formality for so long might hurt the Lions, but they still have for a minute or so an extra man. And they may just have a slight ascendancy. It's going all the way to the wire, you fancy. Dawson, Daffy James. Easily out of that first tackle. Wilkinson width again for Driscoll to back and then Robinson. Robinson past the first man. Always past the first man. Wilkinson. Oh, it's really on. Corey out to James. It's slowed down. A little bit more incisive there with the passing, and you never know. But Dawson doesn't dwell on it. Drewcock. Keith Ward. Cries for knock on from Australia. And in fact, it's the Lions who will put into this scrum. And the Boos, they're all gold. They thought it was a knock on by Keith Ward, perhaps. He overreacted a bit. But we saw the threat of Robinson. You can see the Lions, now that they've got their line out functioning, are just getting an edge. John Hill's on the back foot. And that's not a position he's been often in his illustrious career. And listen to the noise. They can't dilute that red. The Lions supporters in this second half recapturing the spirit of Brisbane. And of course, Durban. Now, this is a big, big moment because Herbert is still off the park. They've got 15 against 14. They're 15 metres out. They've got to make it pay. Again, it's one of those must take opportunities. And they'll have to wait to do it. Gentlemen. Oh, Driscoll, is he the man to take advantage with this extra space? He's calling the shots and he's moving the line of attack around as we look at Danny Herbert, desperate to get back on. I'd just love to see Jason Robinson switched on the wings and just give him a one-on-one. -on -one. It's at the bottom of your screen, on the left flank. He's got 20 metres, it would force Australia to realign because they can't go one on one against him but he's way down here across the line and he just showed that time one on one with Walker he burnt him again oh it does not get much bigger than this the Australians World Cup winners in 99 but so eager to follow that up with a first ever series win against the Lions and it will be so special because it will be on home soil not overseas what do the Lions do about it well they give it to Wilkinson oh and it was O'Driscoll who was coming on but O'Driscoll couldn't take it and Australia grab it back fine lines and Herbert's back it was the strike move of Driscoll from inside centre to out with Robinson alongside him and he couldn't quite hold it that's why he's went to inside centre to drift out I think the Australians had read it well though yes they had three of their backs there Gregan with the dummy. Oh, what a moment, George Gregan. There's a little fumble. Yep, it's not the dummy, it's a mistake. It's a big mistake. Dawson. And now isolated. 
Well, that wasn't the call. Super defence from Australia. Wilkinson. Robinson. Again, he stays on his feet. Little rubber ball that he is. Wilkinson seeing the gap, try to get through it. Styles has won that. Gregan, Smith, back for the penalty. The Lions lost their call after Nick Styles had got on the floor. He's got a bit of dog in him as well. It's burning now in the lung department. And the Lions, with all that injuries, don't have the impact subs to bring on. But they're burning big, they want this one. And now the Australian supporters think that this could be their moment. Well, they weathered a storm, didn't they? And Styles, he's done well. Causing no end for the problem for the Lions. Getting to that stage of the game now, where if one side does get the converted try, there won't be a lot of time to sort out the problem for the trailing team. Gregan. Gray's ball. So flat the passing. And Finnegan used again. This is Harrison. Made a big impression in his first cap. Foley there, 34 now, looking to go out in a blaze of glory. This is Gray. And at the moment, the Lions are trapped. Now they've got the last three lineouts to Martin Johnson. Will Australia bank at the front and gamble on taking him on? Gray goes for the chip. It goes harmlessly out because the Lions have control. But Finnegan's moved to the front. Do they go Johnson against him? Was there some pushing? There was. Penalty Australia. Silly. All manner of things going on at that line out. Referee Paddy O'Brien saw a clear offence. Well, it was the wrong call, wasn't it? That was a ball to guarantee. Should have gone to Johnson. They went to the back, and it was a penalty because Australia were in clear space if the shove hadn't been given. Tactically, that was a bit of a mess. Matt Burke. With history weighing heavy on his shoulders, Matt Burke produces a sublime kick. Very few rugby players will get the thoughts that he had during those last few seconds, and he managed to control them. 26-23, the Lions are playing catcher. It's another fine take from Justin Harrison. He's bossed that restart area. Being a real thorn in the lion side. Marvellous test debut. Johnson, the eminent Lions captain, has to rally his troops, and he's got something there from the forwards. Got a good response, but Nathan Gray. Huge hitter through the middle. Flatley. Oh, this should be all right. It's Perry, and Burt was reading it. But the bounce takes time, and Burt... Well, he blasts it back. Excellent play from him. No doubt at all, Matt Burt getting the better of the battle with Perry as a kicker. Ten minutes to go, and I just wonder what the Lions' management are thinking. 
Darren Morris for a turbocharged scrum. The out of form Bolshaw. Another loss. Jane was pushing up the line out, but Hills managed to see it off. Australia have been in this kind of position time and time again over recent seasons, and time and time again they come out as the winning side. Champion mentality, and they see this as their moment to kill the Lions off. They're going for it here. Yes, the switch has gone through a few notches here. And the Lions at the end of this long, hard season for them still come clattering in. That was Henderson almost flattening, flattening the man who didn't have the ball. Tackle from Wood on Finnegan. Gregan. It's a time for Heroes to step forward now. Flatley, Walker, Herbert, Taroff! Over the top, James gets back and puts down. But the Lions are down here, and they need to get up pretty quickly. Just how good a footballer is Joe Roth? Did exactly the right thing. Lovely weight on the chip, and Duffy James does well. But Joe Ruff has bought the Wallabies a five-meter scrum. That guy has a computer for a brain. And they could be about to buy themselves a winning lead. If they can get a try from here, the Lions will need two scores. Matt Cobain about to come on. And there we see Joe Roth, often seen given, giving his finishing masterclass. But as Stewart says, a great rugby brain, all-round player. Gentlemen, no ball going even win there. Over here. Over here. Gregan, Fatley, and again the fly half for Offway once more. Gregan again, it's Gray and Walker. Robinson's tackle. And then going to ground. The Lions survive. George Smith went to ground, he didn't like it, but there's no doubt he was just too hasty. And I could tell you, looking down in front of me, the two men we mentioned, Darren Morris and Ian Bolshaw, are getting ready to come on. But Robinson does well there. And look, look at Smith. Off the ground he goes. And the Lions hang on in there, barely. So Ian Bolshaw, unhappy tour, maybe until now. It's James who comes off, and Smith off for Morris. Lions again going for the tail, and Corrie did well to arch his back to get in the position to take that. He was under terrible pressure from Eels. Brilliant work from the Leicester man. Johnson, Morris, Grucock. Biggest game of their lives, they said. Well, biggest five minutes now. Red. Five minutes. 60 metres to go, and they have thrown on perhaps their two key men from the bench. This was a good charge from the Lions forwards. Dawson, who has come out of the scrum. And Corris saved the day again. Wilkinson, Robinson. Wilkinson somehow wriggling out of two tackles. Dawson, Johnson. That's captain stuff. Robinson. Getting those feet moving. But Australia still. And then back puts a hand in. Deliberately slapping the ball down. 
Oh dear. I think the Lions are going to have to win this for 14 men. We're going yellow. Oh, he's not got the yellow. That's a let off. Just a warning. feet and he's deliberately knocking the ball out of Gregan's hands and again the Lions have to weather the storm Gregan did marvelously well to get onto that Gray lost his footing in a crucial moment but Gregan's back in sniping again Foley They've slowed it down, but is it just delaying the day of reckoning here? Ominous stuff from the Wallabies. Gregan, Flatley, Roth. Oh, Driscoll hanging on to his boots. This is Walker, Kefu. Wood committed everything. Gregan again, Walker, Herbert. What a finish, what a series. Flatley and Cobain there. Gregan keeping it ticking, Flatley. Can the Lions hold on? They have got their hands on the ball. Perry's drop back. Stay, stay. And so has Roth. And look at that for a take. Made it look so easy. Back stands firm. So did O'Driscoll, but the Lions, plenty of players committed to this breakdown. Ah, superb play again by Roth. The Lions defending so well, but Australia, they're being very cute here. They're not taking any risks. They're keeping the ball and they're running the clock down. Some signing for Biarritz, Joe Roth. Heroic stuff from the Lions. You think of all the injuries they've had. Backs to the wall, the fans are shouting them on, but they need to get their hands on the ball soon. They've seen an epic, but they want it to end with a chapter that they want to read time and time again. Grigan. Holbeck is on for Australia. Nathan Gray is off. There's Holbeck. This is Grigan and Herbert. another penalty hands on the floor it's doubly bad because it could be three points it's also a chance for Australia to further run down the clock Matt Burke all the experience of 50 caps he will not be in any hurry here Last 10 minutes or so, Australia really have been very, very smart. From the 67th minute, you know, when Keith Wood made the wrong throw and went to the tail, gave the penalty away and then took a 26-23 lead. Australia have gripped this game. It will be an iron grip if this goes over. at his feet the Lions have 
to score a try. They need a miracle now to start praying back home in Britain and Ireland. First of all, they need this ball. Ah, oh, Harrison. Harrison all the way today. Hardly put a foot wrong. Perry. Held straight in. So that will be... Alliance put it didn't have chance to release the ball after the catch was made Who has the spark who has the moment of sheer brilliance? Pick and drive first get inside the opposition half now. It's Wilkinson O'Driscoll Perry bounds on Dawson is told to stop by Johnson. Now Johnny Wilkinson can't go for Taniata, so he's got to go for five. The Lions' biggest attacking weapon in this half. Can Wilkinson put it into the corner? Close enough. <laughs> it's a fine effort. Walk to Johnson. Uh, let's just hope they get this line out right. This is their moment. It's not. It's Justin Harrison's moment. That was incredible. And now the Lions will have to do it, but they'll do it from the Australian 22. He only started playing rugby when he was 19. Wow, that's brilliant from Harrison. Now it's Grucock, and he comes straight down, so it's not the forwards. Well, it might be if Keith Wood has anything to say about it. Dawson and Vickery. They go over the top. Dawson says it should be a penalty. Paddy O'Brien shakes his head. And it's getting harder to strike from where they are now. Oh, Australia's turnover capacity. George Smith to the fore there with Daniel Herbert. Might just have seen them home. This has been brave, but it looks like Rob McQueen. Unless we get that miracle, this play are going to down the Lions. Curry. Dawson. Wilkinson. O'Driscoll forced to stop on the take. O'Driscoll going for glory. Dawson again. Wilkinson. Henderson. And stopped. Herbert did well there to get his body in the way. Wilkinson. They're counting down the clock. It's behind Bullshaw. Need to keep it in. Chavis. It's still alive, I think. Robinson tries to tap it. Walker will run it out. Walker will run it out. And in the end, it's Australia. weekend but champion sides find what they have seemingly lost when it matters most and this is a champion side